Actually, there's a couple of little figures in the um, in the pre-chorus which I think are important. After the songwriting day, we all had a good think about how the song might best come to life. It's sort of a consensus decision, I suppose, from from the songwriters. We've got a sort of driving drum beat with a very you know strong forward momentum to it. So we're adding four bars there. Yeah. yeah. It's been a great experience for the students to come in and learn from some of the very best mentors in the country, with people like Gordon Rittmeister on the drums, Rex Go on guitar, Greg Royal on bass. I mean, you know, th these are the, the best in the business. So for all of the performers that have come in today, it's been a really good opportunity for them to learn about the studio experience, because it's rare now to have the opportunity to come into a great studio like this and go through the motions of recording a song. Play that verse group, try that. As is tradition at Music Countess, we start with bass and drums, get the skeleton of the song down first. We've basically mapped out the entire song in, in sections. So intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, where it repeats, uh, tags, re-intro, bridge and so on. And just tried a couple of different grooves out. And once the other guys play, we'll see what works and what doesn't. Basically, we've got to lay down the foundation for a, you know, um, a pop song. In some ways, we've kind of like sort of moulded a little bit from the bottom up. I guess it's all just sort of trial and error, and like we'll put this rhythm in here, or we'll take something out. And a lot of it, a lot of it was like, what not to play? Like, exactly. Don't do too much. And... Mm, keep it simple. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of other instruments on top, mm -hmm. so you've got to leave space for them and keep it simple. I think. Yeah, that's great. That's going to be fantastic. You can have so many different sort of colours on the guitar, like, you know, for a song. It can be the bread and butter, which is the rhythm, basic rhythm part that gel with bass and drums. And then you've got the ear candy part, which is just little uh, lines here and there coming in and out of the song, you know, just to enhance, to embellish the song. Um, we're on our lunch break, which is going to be three and a half minutes. We're a little bit behind, but the parts that everybody's put down are fantastic. We're just about to double the electric guitar, which you can hear right now and then we'll move on to piano and strings. Okay, one more. We'll give you a couple of bars into that. Jim's adding some fantastic piano to this. The first thing is really the mid-range comping, which is basically the chords of the song that glue, glue the yeah. whole thing together. And uh, then on top of that is some fancy stuff, which is basically, you know, an intro that Jim's come up with, uh, and then some great jazz licks at the end once we get to the shuffle part. <laughs> My role is to basically get, get the streak sounding as good, clean and crisp. It's something about making these things vibrate, the, it adds a different dimension to the music, you know. We have to get on with recording the, the vocals. We've got all the energy and the textures and the chords. Now we need the words. Listen to the beat within your heart. I didn't really need to guide them, you know. They, it's something that you could tell they've, they've been harmonising and singing for a long time. The lead singer, Ashley, was so good. She just took it by the horns and, and went for it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was really cool. Awesome experience. Love it. Look, I'm hoping the song strikes a chord uh, with uh, 
with the, you know, the, the students around the country when they hear it and the teachers as well. And I hope that, you know, this year's Music Count Us In is another smashing success as they've been for the last 10 years. Um, I'm sure it will be and I'm now looking forward to the big day. Can't wait. Listen to the big